first lady redunda here and i am in the kitchen and i'm cooking today something that many of you have actually requested for me to cook and it is my mama's meatloaf and so i've talked about my mom a lot over the years and i've talked about how she was such a great cook and so she taught me how to make meatloaf um, a long long time ago and actually that's how i hooked my husband because when I was, um, when we were dating, I made a meatloaf for him and he fell in love with the meatloaf. And of course he fell in love with me, but that's just a funny story. But I just wanted to share with you <laughs> my meatloaf recipe. This is my mama's meatloaf recipe. So I just want to show you very quickly all the ingredients. This is a five pound package of ground beef. So this is a five pound package of ground beef and you always want to smell it and make sure it's good and make sure the date is good on your ground beef. Now you don't have to make this much, but usually when I make a meatloaf, I am making it to take to um, either a big, big Sunday dinner for my family, uh, making it um, to just take to a fellowship or actually I, I'm going to have a lot of people over for a meal. And so that's what I generally do. I do five pounds at least. And so as you can see, I'm just gonna crumble it up. And the other ingredients that I'm going to use will be, this is chopped green bell pepper. This is a white onion chopped. And I'm gonna use my seasonings. Of course, my Mrs. Dash black pepper. And I'm gonna use ketchup, and then I'm gonna use crackers, and I won't use the whole sleeve of crackers, but you can just use regular saltine crackers. And to bind it all together, I'm gonna to use two eggs. So let's go ahead and get started. This is a little bit of work here, so we're gonna to have to do a little elbow work again today uh, to make this meatloaf. But I'm gonna start just by seasoning it with the Mrs. Dash. And as you can see, I've already washed my hands really good and I'm just kind of moving it around. But um, I'm going to put on the gloves when I actually get ready to kind of work it in with my hands to form the, the actual loaf. This is black pepper that I'm using. And then I'm just gonna be liberal with it because this is a lot of meat here and you want it seasoned all the way through. Uh, and so, I could like pour out uh, some black pepper onto it, um, but I kind of like to just kind of do it uh, just by hand here and just put it in. Okay, a little more Mrs. Dash as I move it around. All right, so now I'm gonna add, and I don't know how much <clears throat> that I'm gonna add, so I will start with I'll just start with half. And I will see if that's going to be enough. As you can see, this is gonna be a huge meatloaf, right? So I'm going to just add this ingredient, the onions and the green peppers. And this is kind of messy, so if you don't, mind getting messy, then this is the recipe for you. Don't be afraid of it. Because when you're done with it, it's gonna be absolutely delicious and it's gonna be worth it. So I've been making meatloaf for a really long time and I typically like to make turnip greens with it or either cabbage greens. Um, um, and then I like to do like macaroni and cheese, um, probably sometimes some yams. Uh, and, and you can watch my other videos for the turnip greens and uh, the candied yams. So look for my other videos if you wanna know how to make those. So I'm just kind of moving everything around, making sure that it's good and incorporated. And I will see if I need to add more of the green peppers and onions Oops, and if you make a mess, don't worry about it because this is a big, this is gonna be a big meatloaf. 
All right. So I do think that I need a little bit more of the onion and the green peppers. So I'm just gonna scoot them over. And whatever else I don't use, I will just put it in a zippy bag and use it later on for a different recipe. Okay, so it's really just that simple. So as I'm incorporating, I'm seasoning it to taste. And this is a workout. Just making sure that it's all incorporated. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to add the ketchup. And woo, wow, we are we are in the kitchen. So I'm going to actually measure this out because I do think that I will probably need about a cup of the ketchup. Okay, so, and this is going to kind of sweeten the meatloaf and it's going to actually kind of help it to bind together along with the egg when we get ready to add the egg. Okay, so I'm just gonna set that there. I'm gonna get a paper towel here and just kind of wipe up as I go because I'm, I'm hoping that I can transfer this over to my big roasting pan here in just a little bit. So let me begin by just kind of trying to move this around in this bowl and gosh, I, I almost need a bigger bowl here. But if you have a bigger bowl, uh, that probably would be good to use at this point. But again, you don't have to make as much. You could do a three pound meatloaf if your family is smaller than mine and if you're not trying to make this much. Now, what we typically do is we will eat meatloaf uh, for a day or so. And then after that, um, you know, we may just make a meatloaf sandwich or something, or it's kind of like, it ends up being like a sloppy joe or something on bread uh, or on some good rolls, but it's really good even the next day after you have had it. And so it's great for leftovers, just, just saying. Okay, so now if I can't get it all incorporated um, here, I'm going to finish it when I put it in the roaster. And so I definitely want to show you how I do that here shortly. Now, let me open up these crackers and I'm just gonna open them and put them out on this tray here. Okay, and so when I'm done with this, I probably, I won't use the whole sleeve, but you can use stale crackers for this if you want. You don't have to have the freshest of the fresh crackers. Remember, you're just going to crumble them up. This is part of your binding that you are doing. So the crackers are gonna help to kind of bind the meatloaf together. And so we're still incorporating. And if you see that it looks a little bit dry, as this one does, then I'm gonna to have to add a little more ketchup. And then when this is done cooking, I'll show you how to make the meatloaf sauce that I pour on top that is really delicious. It's a secret special sauce that you guys will get just uh, to know, uh, I guess because you're special, so you get to know my special sauce. <laughs> Oh, I'm sweating. This is hard work right here, cooking in the kitchen. All right, so now, a little bit more than Mrs. Dash as I incorporate it. And I'm trying to make sure, because one of the things I do not like is a dry meatloaf. And so that's one of the reasons why I don't necessarily recommend that you use a different kind of meat. Um, perhaps if someone wanted to make a lamb meatloaf or something, ground lamb, or if you wanted to use ground turkey, I, I don't know. I, I prefer ground beef because I like for it to be really moist. I have done a ground turkey meatloaf before and it was 
although it was healthier, um, it was quite a bit dry. So I don't recommend it if you're gonna make this recipe, just, just so you know. All right, so now we are looking like it needs to look. As you can see, it's moistening up really nicely since I added the extra ketchup there. You can see the onions and the green peppers. And this is a just a, a recipe that you really have to just work your way through, making sure that everything is completely incorporated. And so I'm just going to keep on incorporating and then I'll come back and I'll show you how to put it together and form it into a loaf. So I'll be right back. We're back and I have gotten this meatloaf pretty much well incorporated. And now, as you can see, I'm gonna put on these gloves to kind of protect my jewelry. And so I want to dig in with my hands and we're going to sculpt this meatloaf. But the first thing that I wanna do, the last binding agent is two eggs. And so I'm gonna use just two jumbo eggs. All right, so now I'm going to begin to just kind of work it through with my hands. This is the fun part. If you like <laughs> working with your hands, this is the fun part of this recipe. And I love it because you're really incorporating everything, all the onions and the green peppers, and you can see the crumbled and uh, crushed crackers in there. Of course, we use the ketchup to kind of make it a little bit sweeter and to help to bind it all together. And as you can see, it's not a dry, um, already it's not a dry uh, combination and I'm just incorporating it all. If you make a little bit of a mess, do not worry about it. You are in your kitchen and you are cooking and your family is going to really appreciate this homemade meatloaf. You know, you go to a restaurant and you order a meatloaf and my goodness, you don't know what's in it, but you have control over the ingredients when you make it at home. So definitely uh, you don't want a mystery meatloaf you wanna know what's in your food. So that's why I'm showing you how to make my mama's meatloaf. So now the final thing that I'm doing, I'm just going to incorporate this meatloaf into this roasting pan. And I'm gonna just put all the ingredients together with my hands. I'm making sure that there's no uh, just straggling meat uh, that's not incorporated or into the seasonings. And so I'm just kind of really moving it around with my hands and feel free to move the pan around as well. So now the final thing, as you can see what I'm doing now is I'm just beginning to form it into the beautiful loaf. It's almost like magic how it comes together. But I do move the roaster around quite a bit with my hands as I'm forming this meatloaf. And you can really smell the ingredients too. The seasonings, the Mrs. Dash. Of course, we didn't use any salt. We use Mrs. Dash. We use black pepper. I use the original flavor of Mrs. Dash because it has all the herbs and spices that I love that my family and I always enjoy. So I'm moving it around, I'm shaping it. As you can see, this beautiful loaf will take up the bulk of this pan. So you will see that it will form the whole thing and I am just smoothing it out flattening it out and shaping it into the form of a loaf. Now the gloves are a little bit sticky, so you don't have to use the gloves. You can simply just remove your rings. And if you don't want all the 
me kind of stuck to your rings when you're done, just remove your jewelry and you don't even have to use the gloves, okay? So now I'm going to take these gloves off, take the gloves off and go ahead. Now, what I love to do is touch it with my hands. The warmth of my hands, now that I've gotten it pretty much corporate, incorporated, the warmth of my hands will kind of also, because this is cold meat that I'm using, the ground beef, and the warmth of my hands is also kind of helping it to form its shape. So as you can see, this is going to be a very, very large meatloaf. I have fed upwards of about 20 people at my house on a Sunday. Uh, I love having people over after church for Sunday dinner. And even during this COVID, um, I just still love fellowshipping and especially spending time with my family. Uh, and so this will make a lot of meatloaf and you'll be able to just make slices uh, and people can have really nice size portions and you don't have to skimp on your guests. So now, this is done, ready to go in the oven. So there's my meatloaf. This is my mama's meatloaf and it is going into the oven. 375, uncovered. So it's going into the oven for about an hour, 375, uncovered. So um, we will come back in about an hour We'll check on this meatloaf and I'll show you how to make the sauce for it. Be back in a little bit. I'm back and I just want to show you very quickly while my meatloaf is still in the oven cooking, I want to show you how I make my special sauce. Now this part is mine. This is not my mom's. My mom's is the meatloaf part and then my sauce is mine. It's my special meatloaf sauce. So I just want to show you what I use, this is actually tomato sauce. And this is an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I don't use tomato paste. Sometimes some people use tomato paste when they make theirs. I use tomato sauce. And so this is um, an eight ounce can and I use three. And so I'm just gonna open up the last can for you and this may seem kind of like a weird sauce, so don't be afraid, but this is my special meatloaf sauce, and I promise you, uh, this is a secret recipe that I'm only sharing with you. Okay, so I use three cans of the tomato sauce, and just make sure I get it all out, and I'm just gonna combine it in this bowl that I have and this bowl is going to be filled up to the brim by the time I'm done because I'm adding my final secret ingredient and it is actually craft sweet and spicy barbecue sauce <laughs> if you can believe it this is what I've been doing for years when I make my meatloaf now so you know the tomato sauce is kind of like uh, bitter and kind of like tomatoey, so um, that's one of the reasons why I add the sweet and spicy barbecue sauce because I don't like kind of the bitter taste of the tomato. Um, and so I'm going to add a little bit of sweet. I'm going to add a little bit of spice. And so this is probably going to be about half of the bottle perhaps. So now when I stir it up, now mind you, it's not going to taste like barbecue meatloaf, but you just are adding just a little bit of sweet and a little bit of spice to it to kind of give it a little bit of a, 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 a better taste, not bitter, but better taste. And so I'm just combining all of the tomato sauce and the sweet and spicy craft sauce and oh it smells really good and the tomato of course is going to win out 
uh, in this flavor profile. But, you know, I just like to add just a little bit of uh, barbecue sauce just to kind of take some of that bitter tomato taste out. So now this is pretty much it. This is the sauce. And as you can see, it kind of changes the color a little bit from uh, a kind of a bright red to more of a, a darker reddish color. And so once you've gotten it all incorporated, then I just take a little bit and just taste it. Yeah, it's perfect. And so it, you can still taste the tomato sauce more than anything, but it still has a little bit of sweetness and a little bit of that spicy just at the back uh, of the taste, you can really taste it. So I'm gonna set this over to the side. And when our meatloaf comes out of the oven, we will pour this directly on top and then put it back in the oven and let it finish. So I'll be back in a bit. I'm back and I just wanna show you one step. Um, as you're making the meatloaf, you will notice while your meatloaf is in the oven baking, uncovered, you will notice how a lot of the fat uh, begins to render off of the ground beef. So let's do a little bit of work here. And what we need to do is just try our best to kind of carefully drain some of this fat off of this meatloaf. And so let's hope that we can do this kind of carefully but I, I want you to see, if you can come around, I want you to see just how all of that fat gets drained. And I'm gonna use a spoon to kind of hold the meatloaf together, I guess I should say, if I can do this. Woo, this is heavy. All right, so it's gonna slide a little bit, so just be careful. And you don't have to get all of it, but I try to get as much of the, of the fat off as I can. And so our meatloaf has been cooking for about an hour. And as you can see, it's nice and beautifully brown. And I'm just gonna scoot it back over just a tad bit. And it's how it's set together. And you will see just how set that is and it's beautifully formed into a loaf. Okay, so now, after we have drained off all of that fat, now it's time, it's been in the oven for about an hour, so now it's time to pour the sauce, and I showed you the sauce. It's just three cans of tomato sauce and a little bit of Kraft sweet and spicy. And so as you can see, I cover it liberally and I use the whole entire bowl and that is the sauce. So now it goes back into the oven uncovered for about another 20 minutes. So it's going to go back in the oven and when it comes out, we will be ready for meatloaf, my mama's meatloaf. I'll be back in a bit. I am back and our meatloaf, I believe, is ready. So I'm getting ready to pull the meatloaf out of the oven and show you what it looks like Ooh. when it is finished. As you can see, it is bubbly, it is browned, and that sauce smells delicious. Um, I just want to uh, just let it sit for just a second and talk to you about a couple of things. Um, you remember you have to drain off the fat. And so basically, I either put it in a bag and trash it or put it down to disposal. But you definitely want to make sure that you uh, drain that fat off before you put the sauce on it and then put it back in the oven. So this is the finished product. And I have made a couple of other things that I really like. So I made some yams, candy yams, and 
made some candy yams and I made some turnip greens with a smoked turkey wing. And of course, this is my macaroni and cheese. And I made some cornbread. And you can watch my previous videos if you want to know how to make all of the sides. And you can also use um, your own, um, I guess, your, make your own choice of whatever sides you want to put with it. Mashed potatoes, that's good. Corn is good. Of course, cabbage greens, that's good as well. So just giving you some other options if you don't want to cook those sides. So now it has sat for a second. And now it's time to actually cut into this awesome meatloaf. So I'm going to use my big spoon and just show you what it looks like. This is the meatloaf right here. As, as you can see, it is done. And I'm just going to put a little more of that great meatloaf sauce on top. All right. So now I'm going to set that there and I'm going to get a fork <laughs> and it's time to taste. All right, let me get a fork. All right, this is my mama's meatloaf and I hope you enjoy it and try the recipe. Let me know if you like it. It is so hot. Mmm. Mmm. That sauce is fantastic. You're going to love it. So this is my meatloaf recipe. You asked for it, you got it. So don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and please share this video with somebody that you want to share this meatloaf recipe with. I hope you enjoy it and be blessed.